Online privacy is a sensitive and hot topic at the moment. So today we invited Jip, who works for Ghostry, which is a company that shows you exactly what kind of companies are tracking you when you're on a website. So hi, Jip, welcome. Um, hi, why is it Hi. Why is it important that we are aware of which companies are tracking us? Um, we believe that, uh, you know, everyone should know um, all the companies that are on every website uh, that you visit. Um, they're all trying to collect some type of information on you. So um, knowing who's there and understanding what type of information um, they're trying to collect is, should be important to everyone and, and their online privacy. Yeah. So and what is something that most people aren't aware of when it comes to online privacy? Um, there are probably a lot more companies on every single website um, trying to collect information about you than um, the average person would think. I mean, on average, there's probably 65 companies on a website trying to collect some um, bit of information about what you're doing on the site, uh, how long you're there, what you're clicking on, etc. Yeah, what surprised me a lot is um, that I noticed that whenever I'm on a website and I'm logged in on Facebook somewhere else, uh, Facebook is still tracking me also when I'm on another website. If you're logged into Facebook and then you go on a website that has um, any social sharing buttons on them, um, they are collecting uh, information about you without you even clicking on those buttons. So they're tracking you just by the very fact that they're on that page. You, you don't even have to click the button and they know what you're doing so they can mark it to you later when you're on um, that social site such as Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that surprised me a lot. So what is it exactly that Ghost3 is doing? Um, so we're a, a browser plugin, and when you visit a website, any page on any website, um, we're going to show you all the third-party tracking scripts that are loading on that page. Um, so without Ghostry, you would never see who's there. With us, we actually show you a list of all the companies that are on that page. Okay, and, and what is the most shocking thing you've experienced with Ghostry? Um, Probably uh, the most shocking thing is that I've come across, um, there's a handful of websites that I've come across that are well over a hundred, um, that have well over a hundred um, tracking scripts on the page. I think, I believe the highest I've ever seen is 125 and that's a lot. Yeah, that's definitely a lot. But we're, we're talking in a sort of negative way about it at the moment. But for example, I don't have any secrets and I don't mind when ads are adjusted to me. So what, what exactly is the problem with the fact that they are tracking me? Um, it's, it's not necessarily, I, it, it's an individual choice. I mean, um, it, it's what we're trying to do is provide transparency and let everyone know um, what is on that page. And then it's up to the person to make decisions whether they want to block those ads or whether they want to support those ads. I'll, I'll give you a good example. Um, say you're a, a journalist and, and you um, reference um, a free website like Wikipedia or thesaurus.com, for example, and you know that um, they make money on, on ad clicks. And because you use this site daily for your job, you may be okay letting them, you know, uh, let those, or you, you may be okay letting those ads track you and click on them and so forth because you want to support the website because you, you use it on a daily basis. That that's, happens all the time. So some people are saying that your own data will be the new sort of payment. So for example, I go to a website and I give them more access to me for what I'm tracking uh, so they can track me. Um, do you think this is the new online currency? Yeah, I, I, think, um, I think more and more... Um, people will um, be okay sharing a certain part of their data um, only if uh, it's very clear um, about what's being collected about you and um, the user and the company are, are, are very um, fair about what the trade-off is with each other. I, I believe you know if, if you're giving a little and you're getting some and, and you know that your, your data is not being shared with anyone, I think you know that a lot of people will, you know, start accepting that type of uh, scenario. Okay. And um, what is your business model for Ghostry? Do you get a lot of angry companies? Um, we don't usually get a lot of angry companies. We have, um, so we have our consumer tool, which helps consumers. Um, 
And on the business side, um, where we make our money, we actually um, help brands understand all the tracking on their own website. Um, a lot of a lot of companies will put um, their marketing technologies on their own site, and those companies, those tracking scripts, bring in other companies that they don't even know about. So we help them manage that and under, um, help them understand um, who's there, how fast or slow things are loading, and so forth. So we actually help a lot of the big companies uh, manage the same problem on their own website that consumers encounter on websites they, they visit. Okay, well, thank you very much, Jip, uh, for enlightening us about online privacy. If you guys at home want to know more about this or download Ghost3, go to ghost3.com.